Hello, I'm Peter Blackwood, coordinator of the Uniting Church Icon Schools. In my last video, I showed how I prepared an icon panel by gluing strips or straps of timber onto the panel to form a frame. The vid this video is about what happened next. Now, I'm going to tell you about it rather than showing you. I filmed a video some years ago about this step and I'll leave a link below so that you can look at that if you want to. But for now, let me tell you what I did. Now, as I intimated last time, there were a few gaps that needed filling. My supply of putty had gone very hard and is completely useless. No problem. I squeezed a little PVA glue to the area, sprinkled sawdust over it and smoothed into place with a putty knife advantage of this is you're using the same timber in the, the um, uh, sawdust as the panel so the color is perfect well when it was dry I sanded it with a fairly coarse sandpaper next job was to apply gesso to all six panels I set up a table in my home rather than in the shed because the weather over the next few days was going to get very warm and I was not so worried about my own comfort as that of the gesso. If it gets too hot, it will be useless. So, first thing, find two yogurt containers of the same size. One litre, perfect. Into two cups of water, I added two tablespoons of rabbit skin glue. Rabbit skin glue looks like that. Now one cup equals 15 tablespoons. Hence one uh, tablespoon per cup of water. Works well. Now, I left it to sit for over three hours so that the grains of dried glue swelled up. In the meantime, I cut six pieces of cheesecloth or muslin. Looks like that. I could have used linen or cotton. I cut them to be a bit larger than the panel size. Now, new cloth needs to be washed first or whatever it is they put in new cloth prevents the glue from taking to the cloth. As with many things in the iconography craft, I have learned this the hard way. So, I heated the glue in the microwave oven. Took about 20 seconds. I do this in short bursts because if the mixture gets hotter than 50 degrees, it's useless. The grains all need to be dissolved. So I painted the glue onto each panel with a two inch brush, lay the cloth on top, then added more glue and smoothed it all out. I left this to dry and it took most of the day. It has to be completely dry. I used the second yogurt container of the same size as the first. Now any other suitable containers will do. Plastic milk bottles are good, but I've been using yogurt containers. Now, this obsession about the same size is that I want to measure a quantity of whiting the same as the remaining glue, and I can do this by sitting the containers side by side. So as I add whiting to the dry container, I can then see its level coming to the, to the level of the, the glue in the other. So one part of the remaining glue one part of whiting, which incidentally I <laughs> keep in another yogurt container and looks, well, looks white. I heated the glue, which had, of course, set like jelly. Did this in 10 second bursts in the microwave, and then I added the whiting and stirred. The final stirring I did with the brush so that I could press it against the sides of the container to eliminate all the lumps. And I add, then added a few drops of oil of cloves and this helps make bubbles rise to the surface and it smells nice. Then I painted coat after coat after coat of gesso onto the panels and I rubbed the surface 
with my hand, with my fingers, to make sure that the mixture got down into the uh, in, in, into the the fabric. It helps eliminate uh, bubbles which rise to the surface and emerge as pinholes on the final surface, which are very annoying because you can't get rid of them. They don't go away. I did not take long for each coat to dry. I did this until the gesso mixture was finished. I always lose count of the number of coats, but it would have been at least seven. I then retrieved a gesso mixture from the fridge. It was left over from the last panel preparation job that I'd done. Now this second recipe, this second mixture is different. It's not measured in volume, that is one part glue to 13 to 15 parts of water and then adding an equal quantity of whiting after the gluing is done. This time it is measured by weight. One measure of glue to 15 parts of water then heated after it's dissolved after three hours then add 20 four measures of whiting and a few drops of oil of cloves. What are the actual measurements? Well, I know that I can fit what I need for six panels into a one litre container. And that the first recipe worked well by starting with two tablespoons of rabbit skin glue granules. So I put my container on a, on a set of kitchen scales, I zero the calibration, I add two tablespoons of glue granules, I add and subtract it until I have a quantity, a number that's on the scale, on the, on, on the scales, <laughs> that's rounded to a number that I can work with as the base measurement unit. I zero the calibration again and multiply that base unit by 15 and then add this amount of water to the container. I set a second dry container on the scales, and it doesn't need to be the, the same size like I did last time. And I zero the calibration and add 24 measurement units of whiting. This is then ready to add to the mixture after three hours and after heating to less than 50 degrees. Stir thoroughly to taste. I added four or five more coats of this gesso I didn't use the last bit in case I needed to make any repairs after sanding. The panels are finally sanded after a few days of thorough drying and then sanded with uh, a fine sandpaper wrapped around a cork sanding block. And the end product? Well, you can see it. <laughs> Here it is again. Thank you for watching. Please leave a, a, a like or better still a comment or a question. I read them all and I answer them all. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye for now.